My PNM family. Let's hear it one more time for young Cerulea Lopez. Wonderful young talent invoking the presence of God amid, amidst us this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, our first speaker is dynamic and articulate. She attended the Pepper Village Government Primary School and Holy Faith Convent in Pinal. She is currently a final year student of the University of the West Indies, where she is pursuing a Bachelor of Science degree in Management Studies with a minor in Finance. In 2007, she was nominated by her school to represent our country, Trinidad and Tobago, at the Global Young Leaders Conference in Washington, D.C. and New York City. She is the chairman of the Faisabad Constituency Youth League of Our People's National Movement. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to address us this evening's youth speaker, Ms. Tanil Tobias. National Movement and Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, the Honorable Patrick Manning, and his wife, Senator the Honorable Hazel Manning, Minister of Local Government, His Worship, the Mayor of the City of Port of Spain, Alderman Murchison Brown, the Chairman of the People's National Movement, and Minister of Energy and Energy Industries, Senator the Honorable Conrad Enel, the Honorable Marlene McDonald, Member of Parliament for Port of Spain South, and Minister of Culture, Community Development, and Gender Affairs, the Honorable Dr. Emery Brown, Member of Parliament for Digo Martin Central, and Minister of Social Development, Ministers of Government, Members of Parliament, Distinguished Party Officials, Members of the Media, Members of the Protective Services, Youth, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Night. From the very inception of the People's National Movement in 1956, the late, great Dr. Eric Eustace Williams held that in order for the party to maintain its standing as the strongest political force in Trinidad and Tobago, it had to place the people, you, the citizens, at the center of all its decisions. And today, in 2009, 53 years later, the Patrick Manning administration shares this very same belief. We value you, each and every one of you. And it is with you in mind, the mother, the father, the student, the businessman, and the worker, that we have developed Vision 2020, a vision that takes into account the progress and development of every citizen of our beloved country and projects a future of sustainable prosperity and security for our nation. This vision has five pillars that defines its path to realization. These are one, developing innovative people. Two, 
nurturing a caring society. Three, enabling competitive business. Four, investing in sound infrastructure and the environment. And five, promoting effective governments. And over the last seven years, this administration has been taking action with record success on all fronts. However, on this occasion, I wish to turn my attention to pillar number five, promoting effective governance. The leadership of the People's National Movement has always moved toward a better Trinidad and Tobago for all. And in the rapidly evolving international environment, it cites the modernization of systems of government as key toward creating such a reality for our people. Ladies and gentlemen, this party, the only sustainable political party in Trinidad and Tobago, listens. And we have listened to the cries of the people, and we know that you are demanding increasingly higher standards of governance that must produce greater efficiency, transparency, accountability, and effectiveness at all levels of operation in this society. But dear friends, said levels of efficiency, said levels of transparency, said levels of accountability and effectiveness can only be realized through a modernization of our systems of government, which can only come forth by our acceptance of pillar number five of the vision, promoting effective governance. Ladies and gentlemen, the government's acceptance of the fifth pillar will allow us to meet your demands for improved systems of governance by modernizing the way our society is governed at all levels, local, regional, national, and international. At the local level, the People's National Movement realized that reform was imperative to a more modernly governed Trinidad and Tobago. The PNM identified local government reform as one of the more important items on our modernization agenda, primarily because we knew how greatly this system of government impacts you and your community. After many consultations with you, the people, throughout Trinidad and Tobago, we gathered that you wanted a greater return on your investments in the local government sector. Local government reform, good friends, is a way in which this reigning government can provide such returns. The PNM government is about service and our desire to make sweeping changes to the existing local government system will allow us to better serve you. Such reform promises greater operational efficiency through finance, information communications technology, and human resources development within your municipal corporations. Additionally, local government reform 